Tiana. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday and thank you so much for joining me. I see we already have people here so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm Tiana. Today is Tuesday. It means it's another Maniology Live day. So every Tuesday at 1 30 Hawaii Standard Time you can find me or Dev here, your nail educator and inspirator talking your ear off about everything nail stamping, tutorials, um, how to's and more. Just everything general nail talk. But today I'm actually going to do something that I'm really uh, kind of jazzed to share with you guys because um, it's something different. So I don't know if I've said this in any of the previous videos, but I do enjoy a good DIY. Um, it's, it's really hard for somebody like me to really get into something because, you know, I'll end up doing like so much. So, um, but yeah, so I, I kind of just enjoy doing DIY projects and crafting. And so today, if you read the title, I am actually going to be showing you guys something um, kind of fun that maybe you did or didn't know that you could do with your nail stamping. Um, and I just thought it would be a really cool idea. So um, I, since the holidays are coming and, you know, thinking about something kind of crafty and unique to do, um, I wanted to kind of make some holiday uh, gift tags. So basically I created these as like examples for you guys. Um, and it doesn't have to necessarily be holiday theme. You can kind of think of anything, uh, you know, a special occasion, a birthday, just because. But, you know, we have so many different nail plates. And if you're starting or if you're like an avid stamper, if you have the nail plates, you can do this. Um, so I did this, this is actually using one of our newer plates and I kind of did uh, two different stamps that has like these really cute doggies. Um, this is like an underwater theme with one of our plates. So I kind of use the corner image here and, uh, this is using like a new year's plate. I have some succulents. So you have literally something for everyone. Um, Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. So I wanted to actually show you guys how to do this. It's super simple. Um, I do have some tips, I think after kind of experiencing a few things um, going through with this. Of course, the medium is different, right? This is paper um, and I'm using cardstock. So basically I bought, I went to my local craft store and I picked up these really um, already pre-made tags that you could use for really anything labeling or gifting or anything like that and um, they were came in a huge bunch uh, super affordable and uh, I just got two basic colors which was like white and like this uh, off-white color as you can see and from I also had this kind of laying around which is just like this regular hemp cord and I also have some washi tape and stuff too. So anyway, let's just jump right in. I'm sure you guys are excited to, to see the process. So um, as far as polishes wise, I mean, everything, I would just say, you know, just set up your area like you would if you're going to do your nails. I have polishes here. I have plates um, ready to go because we're coming into you know, the Christmas holiday season. That's kind of the plates I chose. Um, I do have a few others just to show you for maybe you know, the, the just because or all year round kind of thing, but most of them are holiday related. I will be doing this with my monocle. Now you could do this, I've done it with this double ended, but the monocle, I feel like it just helps um, you, the viewer, to kind of see what, I, what it is that I'm doing. I got my scraper. Um, acetone. The one thing I do want to make a mention of is, okay, polishes. Um, in general, I do recommend using cream kind of polishes. I just realize, not just realize, but cream polishes, they just have a better, um, they don't dry as quickly. I guess in doing something like this, like I said, the medium is different. We're using paper instead of like a nail. Um, the transfer does need to be quick or else, you know, uh, the image dries up. 
This is not necessarily a tech technique where I would recommend um, reverse stamping. So if you're new here, reverse stamping is kind of like coloring in the designs with all different colors and stuff like that. The reason for that is because of the transfer. So literally we're gonna just be doing one color. Um, I guess if you happen to do some experimenting of your own and you know you see a technique that works, please go ahead and comment. I would love to hear. But you know, this technique that I'm gonna show you is super, super simple. It's pretty much just taking the design and stamping it onto a piece of paper so you have something decorative. And here's some other ones too that I use for the smaller tags. So I took this little, what is this? Uh, I was like, is this a raccoon or an owl? I don't know, my eyes was just like, what? <laughs> and this here. Okay. Now, if you don't have these tags like I was talking about, don't even worry about it because I also did a like a template super simple template and you could just use this piece of paper to cut out literally on paper and I also wanted to show you that you know how they have those Avery label maker things so this I'm using the Avery uses a template of 5160 so if you want something that's sticky then here I also did a stamp on this and you could actually use this on your wrapping paper or your gift too. I will show you guys some writing on this so you kind of get the, the idea, but I'm so self-conscious about my, um, my handwriting, but I know you guys aren't coming here for calligraphy, so. <laughs> okay, um, just one thing I'll mention too, like the surface and stuff, um, obviously you're working on a table, but I just like to use something that's like a firm surface, something I don't mind getting stamped um, stamped on. Some like excess paint. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of house my, uh, my tag. And so basically this was like an old uh, sticky stamper station that I've used up completely. And um, now I'm just gonna be using it as a working surface. So let me go ahead and put down the paper towel and this okay so again it's the holiday season oh I thought this I um this image was really cute with the train so I'll go ahead and um do that you can really do this with any design you want to um Okay, sorry, scratch, really quick. Okay, um, I think I got a little sidetracked, so let me just go back and talk about the polishes. Um, cream polishes work best with this, this technique. If you want to dabble outside of cream, I would recommend a smooth metallic polish. So something that's like this, this is a Ginger Snap. This is a new polish that we've come in. But look in comparison to, this is Jack. So you can kind of see how textured Jack is in comparison to uh, Ginger Snap. I would recommend using a polish that's like this. Um, I used this as well. This is our spiced orange. And it's not as textured, it's a little smoother, but again, polishes that have like this metallic kind of finish, they just dry and their elasticity in comparison to cream polishes not as uh, elastic, if that makes sense. Um, so just kind of be wary of that. Not saying it doesn't work. I did, um, I have tried it before. So here's this um, image where I'm using spiced orange and I kind of just mix different colors here. So it does work. You just gotta be quick about it. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna use a Tree of Life green. So everything is gonna be the same like if you were stamping. So you're just gonna go ahead and pick up the image. Oh shoot. Another tip I like to do is just grab this tape and keep it on my skin. C 
see, I'm seeing the comments here. I, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, ah, oh, I wonder if they ever thought about going outside of the box and doing something like this. So that's why we're doing craft time with Tiana. Okay. So I won't lie. Um, I like to kind of firmly press down on the image, especially when it has little bits like this. And you'll see that I slowly pick, um, lift up the stamper after the transfer, okay? And there you go. Now, the reason why I do that is I've noticed that, say, for instance, just let's assume that I had the same image on here. If I went like this, I popped it onto the paper, and I, I picked it up, sometimes you would actually lose some of the images. So, you know, like, say, for instance, like the snowflakes and all those little bits, maybe even sometimes the puffy clouds, you know, if, you, if the actions are too quick, I've noticed that I've, you know, had missing pieces. Now, if you want that distressed look, which I, I don't mind, of course, this is a DIY, um, you know, type of project, um, then yeah, do whatever. But I just notice that the longer I kind of keep it on, I'll even do like this, like the wiggle, which we tell you not to do. But again, the medium is different. This is a flat piece of paper and not your nail. Um, and just slowly kind of peel it off. And that way you can really make sure that you're getting all those pieces onto the paper. But there you go. So there's our first one. Isn't that cute? I'm trying to think if I should put like some kind of other decoration or something up there. Let me see. Hmm. This little bird looks kind of cute. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this because I thought that this was just so cool. And it's not like you have to go out and grab anything because you have these items at your disposal already. So, oh, okay. Okay, that was my fault. Too much, uh, the, the head just fell out. So no biggie, I'll just redo that. Okay, let's clean that out. I think I just saw a comment come in saying that um, <laughs> the snails, yeah, this is the plate that has the snails. Okay, um, Yeah, the train is a really cute um, image. Okay. So you see how I'm like lightly lifting off the stamper and there you go. That transferred really nicely. So like I said, pardon the handwriting but you know if you wanted to do to to amy you can do like a heart or something there you... okay just because i want to to just kind of finish off i'm going to grab some of this hemp cord And just kind of show you guys what the completed look looks like because it's super super cute so we have you know with these bundles and stuff we have this cute little uh, maniology um, canvas bag so I can just do this I got some of my hemp cord and just put it through string it through and we could do something really cute like this just tie it on Okay, let's see. Let's see how good my bow tying skills are. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, 
that wasn't very tight, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut off this part. Isn't that cute? There you go. So you have like a little gift tag for your friend or family member, or just somebody you really care about and you want to just gift it. And look at that. It comes with like its own gift bag idea. Isn't that cute? I know I said that like how many times? Isn't that cute? But anyway, I really do think that's kind of adorable. So let's do another one, shall we? Um... Okay, just because I know you guys are all talking snails. Actually, this image is really cute. Let me just, I know you guys wanna see snails, but let me show you this image because it is super, super cute. The Christmas tree. Actually, I think I'm gonna use a, a smaller little tag for that, okay? Um, it's like green for Christmas, blue, eh. I'll go with this. This is Harlequin. It's gorgeous, gorgeous dark blue. I feel like I always use that. And so if you're curious to this plate that I'm using, it's uh, M261. Oops, it's great. Oh boy. Today, this thing does not want to sit in the head. I know you guys don't mind watching my pickup again, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, there again to the white area so you guys can see the image so I keep that um, piece of tape there so I can make fast movements um, if I need to clean anything okay so firmly I want to make sure I get all those stars and all those eyeballs from the kitty cats and the lines so I try to be very careful about it Look. I think out of this whole pickup, I'm, I'm missing one star. You see that? Two, actually. Two stars. Not too bad. And there you have that. Give me some hearts if you really like this design. I think that's really cute. Alrighty, we said snails. Let's give snails. Okay, so now I'm using this beautiful fuchsia color. This is called a uh, shadow chaser. Oh boy. This head is not wanting to stay in there, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. And I'm sure I took way too long to pick that up, so it's I'm gonna have missing bits. We don't want that. This stamper head was working really nicely for me, so I don't know if it's just camera shy today. bits because we don't want that transferring onto our tag here. This image is super cute. Okay, so here's how that transferred. Snails! 
Really, really cute design. So let's see. We can write something here. Give me a name. Let's see if I can find a name here. I see a Renee. Okay, so let's write. Um, to Renee. There you go. So, wrote that tag out there. And I have like a little cute gift box. And some cute little washi tape here that I have. Cut a little bit off. And there you have a really cute custom tag. Or if, say for example, you put like um, your ribbon, you can string the ribbon through. There is another design, the doggy one, that I wanted to show you guys. It's super, super cute. Where is it now? Oh, same plate. Look at how many images, like how many different tags, custom tags you could make just out of one plate. So many cool things. Okay, so we're gonna use this image with the, the doggies. And hmm, let's do red, huh? So I have cherry bomb here. Carefully, slowly, kind of go from edge to edge. Slowly kind of peeling off your stamper. And there you go, everything transferred over. Really nice detail. Another idea I had is if, say for instance, you wanted to, I mean any color really, but like if you wanted to do a black outline and then go with like colored pencil and color in the, um, all these little details you could. I just don't think you could do reverse stamping and transfer this over. So I know there was another plate that I had. I guess it's not in front of me, but like this um, image I did here, I actually took a Merry Christmas and I stamped that here. So let's just do another one that's maybe not Christmas. <laughs> um, I have some really beautiful, okay, I wanna transfer these uh, a succulent for you guys because I think that would be gorgeous. Okay, let me just make sure my stamper head is clean. Clean. And let's do another one. The succulents are super, super cute. And very, very detailed. I feel like this, this cloudy plate doesn't even do it justice, but watch when I pick it up. It's gonna be gorgeous. So I have pistachio. Pistachio actually just went live today. So here is this. Kinda matches my scraper.
Okay, quickly take off the bits that you don't want to transfer onto your paper. And go ahead and stamp that on. Okay, again, there's so many spots and dots and leaves. So again, you see how I'm just slowly kind of peeling it off. And if you want to see the difference, it's like this, you see how the, because this is silicone, it gets stuck to the paper like that. So I find that doing that slow removal really, really helps. It helps for the bits to transfer onto the paper. It also helps for my stamper head not to fall off. And look at that. That's gorgeous. So here, let's look for another name. Another name. Aisha. Okay, let's do Aisha. I know that's so I'm jazz I really love you know that's actually another idea I feel like a lot of people they ask like oh you have such big designs like what can I do with it this idea you can do a lot <laughs> so here I have another like gift package and let me just go ahead and do that and I have another design of washi tape here that I think will go perfect with this. And this washi tape I just bought for like literally a dollar. We have this store called Daiso, which is a Japanese store. And I love that store. They have the cutest things, things you didn't think you needed um, for super cheap. And I'm down with that, so. Go ahead and put on your washi tape. And there you go. That could be like a really cute gift tag. There. That's so cute. Okay, so I wanna show you guys another oversized design. So here we have this plate. This is M146, and this is like an underwater scenery. So I did have a um, stamp tag that I already showed you guys here, and that was me taking this part and just adding it to that corner. So say for instance, maybe you have a friend who really loves like deep sea things or, you know, something like that, or sharks or a whale. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp one of those designs okay i am going to use a bigger tag for this huh blue seems applicable let's use let's use blue so i want to try and pick up the humpback whale actually let's see if my yeah looks like my monocle will pick it up So this, I think this um, little project, if you will, or, you know, crafting idea um, really gets a lot of practice for maybe, you know, for some people who are not, you know, they're still working at it. Ah, oh, I took off part of his tail. No. Sorry, I got caught up in talking and all that stuff. Okay, let's see. Oh, I feel like this is gonna come out so well. Okay, let's get all those dots. Oh, so actually his tail on this side, I saw a part that didn't quite transfer. So let me try and go from the snout. Sometimes it just gives the, that piece like an extra chance to stick to the paper. Yeah. 
I think I waited a little too long, too much talking. So you'll notice, okay. So you notice here, yeah, it started to dry. So if it was in its right place, I probably would have tried to like press it down, but I think I took too long. And you know what? I'm gonna try again. <laughs> because I think this design, once I get it, be super, super cute. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so you see here, look, I took, took off the previous design. Now that's another thing too. I think this, this technique is kind of temporary, but it, it does give it a nice cute custom look. So I'm just taking regular scotch tape, nothing fancy, and I just took off the design. So yeah, I guess it was just too dry. Yay, so I don't have to waste a tag, that's awesome. So let's try this again. No talking tea. holding my breath on that but look at that there you go so if you have that underwater lover you could create like a really cute custom custom gift tag for them so, so can you imagine all of the designs doesn't matter the season yeah I held my breath too <laughs> it's like I can't even talk to you guys while I'm doing this it has to transfer so um the texture is, it, there is a texture to it because, you know, this is um, polished, nail polish stamping onto paper. And, um, you know, because there isn't a top coat or anything on top of this, uh, I can imagine that if something gets scuffed, it probably would, um, you know, have an area that's scraped off. But other than that, it's still a very cute idea and something that I would recommend you guys doing. But look, look at that. This image here this big well image transferred so nicely on top of the tags okay so that's pretty much what today was all about i hope you guys really enjoyed um tiana's crafting time or t uh crafting with tiana <laughs> maniology live today uh let me know in the comments if you guys would really love to see more videos like this i mean i'm not quite sure um what we could do but i mean it's always cool to find new and exciting ways to actually use your stamping plates right so um yeah give me a shout out and think if you guys want to see more stuff like this we can kind of brainstorm and see does it work i love um watching shows like that does it work does it really work so i'm going to show you guys what we did today so here's our little gift tag to Amy. We have our little gift box to Aisha. Oh, lunchbox notes. That is super cute. And there you go. We have a little gift box to Renee. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'm going to actually pan out so you guys can kind of see it a little bit more but 
but let me know if you guys enjoyed this i know this was something new not exactly nail related but also shows you a really cool way that you can use your stamping plates for all kind of crafty um, diy ideas and um, i hope to see you guys in the next video i will be taking a look at the comments and um me and my team will definitely get back to you guys but if you have any ideas please let us know and if you want to see more of uh oh bookmarks that's a really cute idea so okay i'm gonna try not to get too excited because i can already see like doo -doo -doo -doo, all the slew of ideas and actually bookmarks you can laminate so that would be kind of cool too but hope you guys learned something new i really enjoyed sharing this with you and i hope you guys have a wonderful tuesday and a wonderful rest of the day thank you so much for joining and see you guys later bye